Well, I've done this video a hundred times, but I keep getting asked the same question, so I'm going to try and explain it again in a slightly different way. Now, the video topic was going to be fat burners. So the usual kind of question is, oh, I need a fat burner, I've got a couple of stone to lose. Uh, what do you recommend? Now, don't get me wrong, um, I've obviously got a vested interest in this because I sell fat burners on the website, gymnutrition.co.uk. Um, but, oh, fucking tree, right in my head there. Bastard. Who put that tree there? But yeah, before I start, what I, let's try and explain it this way for a change. Now, for fat loss, you've got a few tools in your armory, a few tools in your toolbox, whatever you want to call it. Now, fat burners being one of them, Right, so where do we start with fat loss? You wanna, go on dog. What you wanna do is reduce your carbohydrate intake down. Now don't do anything too drastic, like I keep saying before. So if you eat, if you eat a cup of rice with a meal, have half a cup of rice with a meal type of thing. So you do it in stages. Now if you just reduce your carbohydrates back and don't eat shit loads of sugary crap either, then you'll lose body fat. You'll lose more body fat by doing that than actually taking a fat burner, even though I sell them. I'm telling you how it is, to be fair. Um, but what you will do, you will lose a bit of fat over a couple of weeks or three, four weeks, whatever, depending on you as an individual, and then you will plateau. So let's say you lose five pound in, in the next three or four weeks. Five pound of fat, that's good. Um, then you'll, like I say, you'll reach a plateau and you won't lose any more. So where do you go from there? Well, you can reduce your carbohydrates even more. So, well, instead of having half a cup of rice, you maybe have a quarter of a cup of rice or a couple of meals, you won't have any carbohydrates with it at all. And then what will happen there? You'll lose another four or five pounds and then you reach another plateau. So you think, right, what else have I got in my toolbox? I've got cardio. Come on, this way. Where's Jasper gone? Jasper! One dog missing as usual. I've got cardio in my toolbox. Right, so how much cardio do you do now at the gym? I don't do any. But okay, so let's start with doing 20 minutes three times a week. So you do 20 minutes three times a week, tag it onto the end of your workout, or, or even before, but I personally would do it at the end of a workout. I think it's better. So the chances are over the next few weeks, you might lose another three or four pound, and then you will get the plateau again. So what do you do from there? increase your cardio a bit more, and so on and so on. So you get the meaning, yeah? You get the drift. Now, you're, gonna, you're always gonna hit a plateau. You're not gonna keep, you can't lose, lose two pound a week forever, because you imagine doing that for like two years, you, you'll weigh about a pound. So obviously you're not gonna do that. So what I normally say is when you've exhausted everything, when you back yourself into a corner, so in other words, you keep reducing your carbohydrates back, there's gonna become a time where you're eating fuck all. Not good. So, same with the cardio as well. You start with, if you don't do any cardio, so like I say, start with 20 minutes on your workout. Then maybe uh, when you eat, reach the plateau, put 30 minutes and then 35, then 40, or, or 30 minutes, then not three times a week, do it four times a week, then five times a week, then six times a week. So there's going to be a time where you're going to be doing cardio for like an hour, like fucking three hours, six, seven days a week, which is too much. So you're going to back yourself into a little corner where you've got nowhere to go. So then you think, well, what's left in my toolbox? Because I still want to lose a little bit more. You might not want to lose a bit more. You might be thinking, well, actually, just diet cardio, I've lost, I've lost enough fat. I've reached my goal. Happy days. I've saved myself 30 quid on a fat burn. I didn't need to use it after all that. Um, but if you do back yourself into the corner like that and you still want to lose a bit more body fat, then you look in your toolbox again. Yeah, I've got fat burners left in my toolbox. I'll use them. So you start on a mild fat burner, you lose a couple of pounds maybe. You may, you'll, you'll reach that plateau again. So you think, okay, I might need a bit of a stronger fat burner, etc, uh, etc. Et so use a fat burner as and when you want it but don't play all your cards at one go. So don't think to yourself, right, I'm gonna cut all my carbs out, I'm gonna do an hour cardio every day, and I'm gonna take a fat burner. 
because guess what will happen yeah you will lose a lot of weight to start with and in a month's time you will not lose fuck all because you will hit a big plateau so if you do that what's, what are you going to do the second month you think well I can't really take more fat burners because I'm already taking shit loads and I can't cut my food back because I'm eating fuck all and I can't up my cardio because I'll be doing like a fucking marathon every day so you've backed yourself into a corner with nowhere to go so just use your tools as and when you need them does that make sense but anyway hopefully that helps anyway I'm going